okay I wanted to do a little bit more than what I've been doing lately I have not been doing anything to be honest and one of the previous well one uh, there's a youtuber well Tony Daly she does a haul every Wednesday or every couple of weeks to, called support a sister haul or support a sister I don't know exactly what it's called where she highlights black owned businesses well I decided I wanted to do the same thing I'm gonna try to support black owned businesses it's easier if I do it off of line because in my area I live in a predominantly white area I don't know where there's a lot of black owned businesses but this was my first purchase from yes lioness and this is their website www.yeslioness.com they sell clothing and um, I didn't particularly see anything that I wanted off of the website as far as the clothing was concerned but I did see these earrings I love them I love earrings that are totally different and that stand out and that make me unique if I can buy any type of earrings offline and I think these were $20 I didn't mind paying twenty dollars for them. Look at them. Look at the uniqueness, the detail. I love that. They're lions, lions. I can't even say that right. But I really loved them, and I fell in love with them. And this is how they came. How cute is that? Like a little car with a lady in the afro, and her earrings are hanging off. And I thought that was so cute. But here's their Facebook, Instagram, and their email go take a look at them this is not sponsored guys this is me supporting a sister um, black owned business if you know of any more black owned businesses that need to be supported give put your um, put the information down in the comments so I can go take a look and I'm going to try to purchase more and more items offline from black owned businesses I'm gonna make a conscious effort every month to at least support five different companies or even the same company if they have the same thing or something that I like but with that being said this is my way of giving back and putting more into my community and because I know I have not been doing anything um, to help uplift anybody outside of my family so this is how I'm doing it I'm going to give back by supporting a sister or supporting another black owned businesses. Now let's jump into the haul. Hey, hey everybody, we're back at Dollar General. We're going to grab this Dental Life right here pouch for a dollar, found in the dollar aisle. That dollar coupon on the app, it makes this free. I have a 3 off of 15 that I'm going to use today, plus some 5 off coupons. 5 off of 5 or 1. I didn't even check to see if the store had some games because that's what I came here to do. I was scrolling through my account and one of them had a 3 off of 15. You know, I said, let me go get that game off of that account. And yes, they have a few bottles left. I'm going to grab one, use the $2 digital for that that makes it free. They are out of pods. That's going to hurt me, but I had to think of something else. We have a game fireworks, I'm going to grab this, or you can grab the game dryer sheets, or the fabric softener with this particular coupon right here, making this $1.95 after the coupon. Next, I'm going to grab two Febreze sprays, and I'm going to use this buy one get one free coupon from the PNG that'll take off $3 so for that. I'm going to grab this BioFreeze patch for $1.75. And use the two dollar digital right here giving me a 25 cents overage onto my cart now here is everything i'm getting i'm gonna do three transactions three different accounts once the digitals are gone off, the, off of those accounts it's over they don't come back one of the accounts i'm going to use my three off of 15 the other two i'm just going to use this coupon five off of five or one or more i am back from dollar general game wasted you guys even though two of my transactions went totally wrong but this is what I got for my three off of 15 and here's my receipt 
The Dental Life was a dollar. The dollar came off for that. The Bio Freeze, a dollar seventy-five. The two-dollar digital came off of that. The two for Breeze sprays, three dollars each. The three-dollar digital came off of that. Not digital, three-dollar manufacturing coupon from the PNG. Then we have the Gain Gain Detergent, three ninety-five. The two-dollar digital came off of that. And then the Gain Softener. I'm sorry, the Gain Fireworks, three ninety-five. The two-dollar digital came off of that. My Subtotal was three sixty five after tax. Four, I think that's four fifty five or four forty five. Can't really see that. And since this was basically um, digital and paper, when you use it with, with the three off of fifteen, it's just like using it with the five off of twenty five. Have the cashier scan all of your items, put your number into the pin pad. I had the cashier push total. Then I gave my manufacturing coupon bogo coupon for the febreze can and have the cashier push total again and 363 before tax i think that's what that is i can't even see that one went as planned i saved 13 dollars for that one yes and then these two i used with that five off of a 501 coupon what i forgot was because the paper coupon attaches to everything what I should have did was given the cashier this liquid first and then the fabric softener and then the liquid put in my telephone number so that the coupon digital coupon for the liquid attaches to liquid mm -hmm. detergent and then so that the other coupon would attach to the gain fabric softener instead I think I scanned both liquid detergents and the softener when I scanned the coupon, it attached to the softener. And this one did not have a coupon. As you can see right here, the $2 manufacturing coupon came off. And then the digital came off for the Gain Fabric Softener, I believe. And then there was no digital for the third, no coupon for the third item, leaving me $2.85 to pay after all of those coupons and 342 to pay after tax when it should have just been 85 cents but I didn't hand the cashier my products right so don't make that mistake and I did that twice don't make that mistake with that then because I really did want to get everything off of my card off of my account rather I went to another store where I knew they had more liquid because I I think I took all of the liquid detergents out of that one store because they have five left. And with the this one, since this is digital and paper, I had the cashier scan all of the items. I gave the liquid softener, I gave the liquid detergent first so that that coupon could attach to this one because remember the one with the gain detergent and the pods attaches to both then i gave the pods because the pod coupon the gain fling coupon will attach to that then i gave the gain fabric softener third so that that coupon will attach to that i put my and then i gave the, then gain I gave the second gain detergent last i put my number into the pin pad so that the digital coupons would attach then I handed my five off of 501 coupon plus the coupon for the gain detergent. He, because you know they have to type in the numbers off of that five off of 501 coupon. Then I had the cashier push total. And what I'm learning is with the five off of 501 coupon, guys, you can't have the cashier push total first. That is a coupon. You have to put your number into the pin pad, let the cashier scan all of your items, give that five off of 501 coupon with the rest of your coupons. I'm finding, I'm realizing that if you let the cashier push total, then hand the five off of the 501 coupon and they type it in, it'll say coupon already accepted. I don't know what it is but you have to give it before they total the transaction or the coupon will say coupon already accepted now I may not say that in every case but the ones that I've been doing 
I did it twice where I've had the cashier push total and they, it said coupon had already been accepted. But this is it for today. And even though I filmed this on Tuesday, it's going to go up Wednesday. So happy hump day, guys. Hump day. Happy hump day. Oh.